Question number three says a potter's wheel moves uniformly from rest to an angular speed of 0.19 rest. Question number three says a potter's wheel moves uniformly from rest to an angular speed of 0.19 revolutions per second in 29 seconds. A find its angular acceleration in radians per second per second. And B would doubling the angular acceleration during the given period have doubled the final angular speed? So here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to say it, it wants to know the angular acceleration. And so this is alpha. Um, and, and of course, I've, uh, I'm not very good at my Greek letters. So there's alpha. And alpha is the angular acceleration. And it's equal to the change of angular speed, omega, over the change of time. And so the angular speed, it gives us, so the, the change in angular speed would be omega final minus omega initial. So angu final angular speed minus initial angular speed. Well, it tells us that it, it starts from rest. So the initial is 0. And it tells us that the final angular speed is 0 0.19 revolutions per second. So we're going to just remember that it's in revolutions. So and it also tells us the time is 29 seconds. And so the only thing we have to do is we have to convert this from revolutions to to uh radians. And so um the well uh, you can remember that that there are um 2 pi radians per revolution. And so if we say there are x radians over, uh, and, and we have 0 0.19 revolutions, and, and so we can just solve for this by, by taking uh, x radians. And so th this is 1, so it will basically cancel itself out, because dividing by 1 is that same number. So x radians equals 0 0.19 times 2 pi. And so the there are um, which equals uh, 1.194 radians. So the change in, in um, angular speed is 1.194 radians in 29 seconds. So we have we have the angular acceleration equals um, 1.194 minus zero divided by 29 seconds. And so angular acceleration equals, uh, it equals 0 0.041165 um, radians per second squared. Because the second part of the question was, would doubling the angular acceleration during the given period have doubled the final angular speed? And so um, the, so we have in, in linear uh, kinematics, it's it's the uh, let's let's put it like this: the final velocity equals the initial velocity plus acceleration times time, and that that's derived from uh, saying the change of velocity over time equals acceleration. And so you set up v final minus v initial, and you multiply time over. You add the initial velocity. And that's how this is, is obtained. So um, this equation applies to to linear um, uh, kinematics. So whenever you get to um, when you get to angular stuff, you get the um, the final angular velocity equals the initial angular velocity plus the angular acceleration times time. And so this was zero, and so. You, you're, so you, you set with this as your equation. If time doesn't change, so if time is a constant, what would happen if I doubled the acceleration? So I times the acceleration by 2. Would that also times the final velocity by 2? I think you can see algebraically that the answer is yes. And so just to test that, I mean, the, the, uh, the final velocity, or the final, um, its angular acceleration was 0. Point 0.0411 and the the final velocity so this was the angular acceleration the final angular velocity was 0. Uh, well we said it was 0 0.19 but we converted that to radians so it was it was 1 point, point 1.194 radians 
um, per second. So, or yeah, per that would be in units per second. So radians per second, and we can plug all of this in and say that uh, 0 0.194 equals zero, which was the initial angular velocity, plus 0 0.0411 times 29 seconds. And so if we double this to be 0 0.0822, does that double that quantity? And the answer, you can just quickly plug that in your calculator and see that the answer is yes. The the if you plug this in, then the final velocity you're going to get is is a uh, 2.3838. So basically, double uh, what 1.194. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep putting 0.19. It's one point. It's 1.194, so that one is supposed to be there. But uh, yeah, so it's it's basically double if you times that by two, or if you divide this by two, um, you'll see that they're essentially the same quantity, uh, except for rounding it.